What's up guys, it's 070 Shake and I'm in the trap with Sarah Harrison. Lady in the trap, yeah, the ladies get in the trap with their fellas and they hold them down and she wanted them. You know what I mean? She wanted the girls gonna hold you down. You smell me? You feel that, don't you? Feel that, don't you? Oh seven oh 7 Shake, I feel like it's been your time for a while now. What's up? And I'm so happy that you've made it across across the Atlantic. Yep. <laughs> when you walked yeah. in, I told you that I met you at South by 2016 mm. and you were like, it was a blurry. that was a blur. Yeah, it was a blurry year. <laughs> was it? How come? What was it? What was that time like? Uh, well, apart from the blur blurriness. <laughs> uh, it was just a lot of um, substances. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know. It was um, just experiencing new things and yeah, it's just blurry. <laughs> so, is that something that you made a conscious decision to withdraw from? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Amazing. Yeah, that's that's really plausible. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, we, you know, I, I don't mean to start it on a sad note, but since seeing as you mentioned it, we've seen so many great artists just yeah. leave us right, right. because of certain substance abuse and stuff mm -hmm. like how 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 has it we, you know we've just um celebrated Matt Miller's birthday what would have been his birthday mm -hmm. um I feel like he was he was rest an in peace yeah rest yeah. in peace he was an amazing contributor to music like yeah. how have these stories made you feel as an artist um honestly just made me feel like obviously it makes me feel sad you know because it can happen to anybody that's just indulging in those things. Um, but it also makes me feel grateful for, for my life. Because there was a time where I was I was doing a lot of that stuff, like, to an extreme. Yeah. But I made it out, so it's I'm definitely grateful for that. Yeah, definitely. Literally, you made it out in yeah. time, like, yeah, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah. And and you're still, you're still young, so yeah. why not enjoy your life? Right, exactly. <laughs> Modus Vivendi is mm -hmm. the album we've really all been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you have been putting out music since like 2016. Trust Nobody right, right, was kind of right. like your first mm -hmm. output of music um, into the, you know, had, had an amazing video for that. Right. We loved your voice immediately. You know, we, we took to your voice immediately. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you've already, despite you've got so many big features under your belt already from Nas to... DJ Khaled to Fabulous, you went in 100% solo on this album. Yeah. Was that your decision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? Um, You know, it's just like my introduction. It's, it's my body of work. It's like my baby. You know what I'm saying? So, and just it being my debut album, I feel like it was just necessary to just have no features and properly introduce myself with no other distractions. I'm fully with that, yeah. like, because exactly that is it could be a distraction. Yeah. But then, on the flip side, any con contribution you've made to these other tracks that I mentioned, did you feel like they fitted you and they fit they they fit your style? You know, with like with the cat lid mm -hmm. and fabulous. Like, how did they come about? And yeah, I think um, they fit a style. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know if. If it's completely my style for, but I don't even know what my style is. I don't even think I have a style. Um, but yeah, I think I'm um, very happy with those features and stuff. Mm. Definitely were, were uh, great moments. Yeah, I can definitely see why you, why you'd be called called upon for certain songs. I yeah. feel like your voice resonates like certain emotions. Yeah. You know that other people can't really do it. Right. When do you feel like you found your voice, though? Because you haven't been making music for a, a super long time. But yeah. when did you know that this is an expression that I'm, you know, I can use and that people can yeah. relate to me? Yeah. Once I made like my first song, like swerving and proud, I was like, and I saw people's reactions, saw how it. Yeah, I was just like, I was like, yeah, this is definitely something I could do. Yeah. Yeah. And those two songs where they literally like DIY, making them yourself with your homies, like how? Yeah, we made this song in, in the trap <laughs> <laughs> we're in the trap right now this is the name of the show oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's funny as shit <laughs> i know Word up. crazy <laughs> I, and you you are a new jersey native shall i say right yeah, yeah, yeah. but the soundscape of the album sounds you know it's, it's a california landscape oh really yeah yeah okay you made it in cali right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i can hear that through mm. and through <laughs> why, why did you decide to leave home turf um, it was just like a good opportunity. Um, it was perfect, to be honest. I was one already there, and 
to the producers that I was working with were there and honestly wouldn't have been anything without them. So um so it was just it was perfect. The situation, the studio was perfect. Yeah, I'm glad you shouted them out before me. We're talking about Mike Dean, and, right? And yeah, and, and Dave. Dave Hamlin. Wow. What an amazing job you, you guys have done together, right? Yeah, and, and Sebastian, 070 Sebastian. Okay. And Sean. So yeah. The sequencing is a is a big deal on this album for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like you don't even really get into the album until track three. You mm. know, that's like the first right, official right, right. track. Exactly, yeah. How how did you come come up with all these different ideas together? Were you guys really locked in? Oh, you know, like locked in. Like we were in a box. There's no windows, yeah. no time, no clocks. Yeah. You know, so we just um, isolated ourselves and just had a bunch of records that we'd listen to on vinyl. Um, and we start the morning like that, very disciplined, be there at the same time every day. Wow. Um, Focus, listen to records, top of the morning, and just go about it. Yeah, this so this sort of discipline did it come from that that Kanye cloth, should I say? Like, cause you 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 have spent some time with him, you know, probably making music with him, and all these people come from his camp. Is it something that you know? Yeah, th I think definitely learned a lot from like the worth ethic and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. I love that you mentioned that you were listening to vinyls. You know, if, if we dig deep into the album, we can see that you've you guys exercised the art of sampling a lot, which yeah, yeah, yeah. and I loved it because it wasn't overpowering either. You yeah. Know, it was just subtle. Right. All along, like even um on your single "Guilty Conscience," you you sample a very. When I heard yeah, it, I was yeah, like, yeah. "Hang on." <laughs> this I, this is, sounds familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, stand by me. Yeah, <laughs> wow, man. Mm -hmm. Was that, who's who's who came up with that idea first? Um, my the the producer that that made that song. Sorry, I forgot to say Miles Williams. He's the fucking man. But um, he uh, we were having trouble with the second verse, man. We were just like, fuck. And then he's just like, he started humming it. And I was like, word. And then I just put lyrics on it, and I was like, word. And yeah, we did it. Yeah, it's it's a dope sample, and you know yeah. who who doesn't recognize that song? Such yeah. a big deal in like the '60s. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I know you said that you don't like to go into the studio with like a planned process. You like to like it to be really spontaneous. Yeah. Right. So, to me, the album really feels like you did it from start to finish without stopping. Like that's, I feel like that's how good the sequencing yeah. happened, it's, right? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Really? But we didn't like, we didn't like sequence it. Like all the songs were sporadic yeah. and then we just put it together. So there's no, there's no, no throwaways. Like there's nothing left over. Oh. Any songs that didn't oh, make no. it? There, we made like a hundred <laughs> plus songs. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be the case. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Was there a, a chance where there could have been someone else on the album? Um, and that got dropped or yeah you know like at first we were like yo we should get some features and everybody was like kind of stressing about it we were like yo who are we gonna get on this week and then I was just like I got to the point where I was like fuck it yeah like yeah. <laughs> I was just like fuck it fuck the features forget about it we're not doing features that's it it's over I'm <laughs> super glad you did that yeah cause it would have been a completely different story but you're not gonna say no in the future right Nah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm completely open to it, but I just feel like it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That actually takes us through, like, something else I wanted to talk to you about. Because um, you seem to exude this, like, spiritual kind of thing about you. Like, you talk about how you've had, like, really good timing in your life. Like, uh, you said something yeah. about your boss fired you because he said, yeah. you should go and make music. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> that you never gotta, really happens. Yeah, he's like, you got to focus more on music. Mm. And he fired me. He, I remember that shit. Like, he sat me down. He li like, Oh, wow. He didn't even yeah. say, you know what? No, he, like, sat me down. It was, like, in his office. And was like, you need to, like, focus on this music stuff. Wow. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> That's crazy. And then you even said that you wouldn't sign to a label but good music and then yeah. it happened within two weeks. Yeah. Is it something that that you feel like you can... Like some people might call that fortune, right? It's it's technically some it's something like, like Manifestation. Like. Manifestation. Yeah. What Do you like practice any sort of beliefs or like what thought processes yeah, do you I'm go through? Just like, you know, just spiritual. Yeah. Yeah, I believe in the power of like... um 
the law of attraction, manifesting things and yeah, how powerful your thoughts and your words are. Right. Who who taught you that? Like how did you end up becoming that that sort of like person with that mindset? I feel like it's just always in me. Yeah, it's something that I had to learn. Mm. I just had to go through like I through experience. You read books? Yeah. I do. Can you give me some some tips? Because um, <laughs> I always struggle to find like well, I'm always interested to find the new books. There's some good books. There's like this book that's called The Power of Positive Thinking that is fire. Mm. Um, Raising the Curtain, which I found the Modus Vivendi title on. Right, which yeah. means way is it way of? It's an agreement allowing conflicting parties to coexist. Ooh. It's like a peace treaty. Amazing. Yeah. So you so you was you was reading the book and it was like this is yeah this, this feels like the right yeah like I I didn't know what it meant so I looked it up mm. and when I once I saw it I was like word yeah. yeah you feel like this album's been in the works for like has it been two years now almost coming up to um a year a year exactly yeah it's some people might say because guilty um what was it glitter EP came out almost two years ago right yeah. and some people might say that's such a long time for a musician to wait in the but in the grand scheme of things it's not really yes yeah, right it's it's, not. it's it's not at all what do you feel like has changed for you personally and professionally in those two years um i just say like, grew a lot as a person you know just like definitely grew a lot I was able to clear my head much more and yeah just became more of a disciplined person and more focused right yeah i feel like I don't know. I feel like you're quite a spontaneous person. Yeah. In obviously the way you make music as well. Yeah. Definitely. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you feel like has been the most spontaneous experience that turned out to be like a really good decision? Mm. The whole album. <laughs> <laughs> In what way? Um, it's just like everything how it happened how it went from like the recording session like how we got the studio everything was just very spontaneous like how we chose the the studio that we recorded in had a lot to do with how the album turned out it right. was a huge part of it like the sonics of it and stuff not only the sonics because it didn't sound that good in there the, <laughs> the speakers were kind of trash <laughs> but just like the 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 energy in there was very like we ended up finessing and just getting more rooms than we were uh, paying for and stuff and wow it was just like which one was it no name no name yeah don't um there's a one in atlanta which feels exactly it feels that way um tree sounds have you been there before mm, no. it's great i think you'd love it Where? yeah it's it is literally in the middle of a forest I, <laughs> I mean, not, oh, that's fire. Yeah, it's fire. This is what yeah. I'm saying. I feel like it's, you know, you can go outside, you can play instruments outside. Like, it's so dope. I got to check it. One yeah, day. that's where the um the Dreamville compilation was made. Oh, really? Yeah, Revenge oh, of the Dreamers okay, 3. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of Dreamville, you've got your own crew, right? Is that still... A, it's still 070, yeah. Yeah, 070. Yeah, they, um, a couple of them are here in London. Nice. Yeah, they're just waiting back at the hotel. Are you trying to do a compilation again together or is everyone yeah, trying to I'm do sure, a separate I'm thing? I'm sure one day we will. But one day. besides the music, <laughs> we're, we're just all friends, you know. Okay. Is it hard to, to make music with your friends? Um, No, it's just all about timing. Yeah. Yeah. It's for all, sure. It's all about timing, for sure. I feel like, I feel like we're going to wait a long time again until we hear another album from you. I feel like you're that type of artist. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. It, it it all depends. Yeah. It all depends um, where I'm at, but it could be quick or it could be it could be a long time. Yeah, but you're enjoying the performing side of it. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. That's yeah. why I even make it in the first place. Are you doing it with a live band or? No. No, not this time around. You need, like, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to take this to the next level. Yeah. yeah. The, like the journey of this. Soon I will. Soon I will definitely just have my own band. Yeah. And when the features do start happening, who are you actually f f vibe into right now? Man. The 070 can... Um, I'm vibing to... 
I vibe to a lot of Frank Ocean, to be honest. Mm. Right now, I'm vibing to Roddy Rich, though. So oh, it's fire. who is it? <laughs> this shit is fire as hell. Can that happen down the line? Yeah, he's he's a really cool dude. We've had some conversations before in the past about um working together and stuff. Yeah, he's a dope musician too. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I can see you pop smoke. Pop smoke? Oh shit! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can make that happen, Stephen Victor. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What can, what can you tell me about Stephen? Stephen Victor and Pusha T. When I say those two names, um, obviously big big names behind the good music brand. How have they helped shape O Seven O? In 2020, <laughs> um, Pusha, yeah, did that song with Pusha. That's pretty. I, I fuck with Pusha heavy. He's oh, a, but it, he's not in the picture anymore. Not, not really. Um, okay, nah. <laughs> but it's still good music. Def Jam. Mm, yeah, good music is yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just I, no. I don't want to say too much, but yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. but it's. Whatever it is, it's it's on cool terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of yeah. course. It's all love or push. I love push to the death. Hell yeah. It's Who a else? Great part, I think part that crew is is so special in hip hop. I think it, it created a, a big shift in hip hop yeah. around that time when you know they had the Mercy song with Two Chains, Big Sean, and you know what what other rappers on that crew were you really really keen on getting in the studio with? Um, man, I fuck with Big Sean OD. Obviously, fuck with Cuddy, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I love that. Yeah. Well, listen, I, as, I, as I told you off camera, like, I've been playing your project Thank uh, on you. loop. It's, it's like a movie soundtrack. Did, did you yeah, have that yeah. in mind when you was Yeah, we were watching movies. It, watching I'm movies. making it. What kind of movies? Kill Bill Volume 2. <laughs> For real. It's <laughs> that, that, that dark horse of yeah. 070 Shade coming out. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, what I do love is that there was like some gospel influences in this one as well. So before 070 was kind of like this. I mean, I can't find a better word than dark, but you know what I mean? It yeah, had yeah, that yeah. rough edge to it. But yeah. now, you know, you had those like happy tones in it as well, which yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. so glad you you explored. Yeah, definitely. Even like with the song with Khaled, like there was just this, this gospel feeling about it. Yeah, I got a little happy. For you a got a little. <laughs> I think you should stay in 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 that happy zone. It's yeah. not good to be sad. <laughs> yeah, being happy is overrated. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Why? Why so? Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's uh, people are always searching for something, and I don't like. I don't want to go past just being. I don't want to be anything but just be, you know. Just being for me is enough. It is or isn't? It is enough. So that is happiness to you? Being? Yeah, it's just being. It's like I'm not trying to be happy. I'm just trying to be. But you're saying us as humans, we find it difficult to just be. Yeah. We're always searching for something, something to yeah. justify being. Yeah. That's really interesting. That's a great way of looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I just can't wait for the next project where you like. I want to hear more about these <laughs> these emotions, man. Like, it's it's, it's great. Yeah, it's great yeah. that we have someone that's making music that's mm-hmm. you know thought provoking. Yeah, right. It's it's definitely for the next one. It's definitely gonna be really big. Yeah, I still yeah. want to see you and Pop Smoke collaborating. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that happen. All right. Thanks for hopping in the trap, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> for sure.